Hey you guys, I'm Brian Paul, and it's time for some more PlayStation VR breaking news. First up, there's a new trailer for Torn, the upcoming PlayStation VR adventure from Asper Games. It doesn't reveal much new in terms of content or gameplay, but it's exciting that, after months of waiting, it's finally here. Check out the full video after this breaking news report, and play the game next week. It releases this upcoming Tuesday, August 28th, and it's available right now for pre-order, with a pretty substantial PlayStation Plus discount. Next up, developer Steel Minions just released a trailer for their new game, called The Chantry, scheduled for release later this year, but currently only for European territories. Unlike their last game, Peacefall, this isn't a student project, but instead part of a research project involving Dr. Jenner's house, the historic residence of Edward Jenner, pioneer of the vaccination against smallpox. This one's pretty intriguing. I can only assume it's more of an experience than a game, but only time will tell. Next up, in case you missed it, the Transference Walter Test Case demo should now be available in most territories. It's being labeled as a prequel, taking place several years before Transference proper, so it's pretty unlikely that anything in this demo will be in the final game. Transference will be here before you know it, launching next month on September 18th for $24.99, and it's already available for pre-order on the PlayStation Store. I've played through the demo twice already, and it's like nothing I've ever played, so I can't wait to see what else the developers have in store. Next up, as we already mentioned on PSVR this week, The Wizards is finally making its way from PC over to PlayStation VR. But what I couldn't tell you till now is that we're getting the Enhanced Edition, with brand new content specifically designed for PlayStation VR. The Wizards will employ a gesture-based system that explores the full potential of the PlayStation Move controllers, and even better, voice commands, like the shouts that were oddly absent from Skyrim VR. The developers are also promising customizable movement options, meaning you can have full locomotion, teleportation, or a combination of both. Expect an announcement regarding the release date of the Wizards Enhanced Edition very soon. Next up, Ace Combat 7 Skies Unknown finally has a release date. It's coming January 17th here in the States, followed up by the European release the very next day. Ace Combat 7 was originally supposed to come out in 2017, then got delayed till 2018, and now here it is, finally coming out in 2019. We have no idea what the reason for all the delays are, but we're hoping it means more PlayStation VR content, because as of right now, we're not exactly sure how much VR content we're getting. The mystery deepens, but luckily we don't have too much longer to wait to find out some answers. And then finally, it wouldn't be a great breaking news report without the announcement of a brand new PlayStation VR game. This one's called Falcon Age, and it was designed from the ground up for PlayStation VR, but it's also playable in non-VR. In Falcon Age, you'll play as Ara, who's been wrongfully thrown in jail for a minor infraction. While she awaits her fate in a lonely cell, she passes the time by befriending a young falcon. And together they escape, and they set off on an adventure to reclaim their freedom and drive off invaders. It's nice to see some games with a 2019 release date. As 2018 starts winding down, we're all obviously very curious to see what next year holds for us. Alright you guys, that's all the breaking news I have for you today, but make sure you subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the latest PlayStation VR reviews, Let's Plays, podcasts, and of course breaking news. As always, I'm Brian Paul, and I love you all. She's here. But I don't know where. She could be anywhere. I have to help her. I have to get out of here. I have to find her. This is my fault. It's all my fault.
イステーション。